Okay, here we have a vintage Audiotronics 326 classroom record player, three speeds, 33, 45, and 78. It works, it's like it's supposed to. You got volume control, you got tone, it even has a neutral. So you can put a neutral to change your records. It also has a stop and pause, or a play and pause, however you want to view it. Which acts like a break. Pop up 45 adapter. Now I already got to set the 78, so let's try it with the 78 first. Pause works. So it acts as a brake and instantly stops it. Now let's put it back on. And it picks up where it left off. Let's switch it to a 45 at first. Now it's in neutral. But the motor still runs. It's 45. Uh, let's see. down before it's put YouTube police flag it. Ugh, come here. Let's try another 45. Nice good sound, nice and loud. One more forty five. This video will probably get flagged immediately. I'm really pressing my luck here. fives have been played a lot so they're gonna skip they're kind of worn out too so these are old these are my mom's now uh, let me pause and let's try it with some uh, 33s 
All right, got a 33 on it. Let's see how it goes. Great sound, all three speeds work, pause works, the neutral works, no light here lets you know it's ready. So it's got some markings on it because it came out of a high school I guess. And I could probably try and get them off but really no sense in ruining the finish. Great spin down time. So these things basically just used uh, a fan motor to uh, turn the platter. So it's got lots of torque and power. Back when things were built to last. Press that down. It's got a cover. I don't know if you can read any of that. Plastic, sturdy, nice big speaker, three prong grounded cord. Nothing means business like a grounded power plug. Go. So, not bad. Vintage Audiotronics model 326. Classroom turntable. Record player. Thanks for watching.